Greetings, everyone. Well, carrying on with uh, the retro calendar revisitings, I guess you could call it. Last time, we took a look at uh, the 1991 calendar that I'm using this year. Because for those of you who didn't pay attention during part, uh, part one, uh, 2013, all the dates are exactly the same as 1991 and 2002 and a whole bunch of other years including 1985. So I got my 1991 Ninja Turtles calendar going up, but I also have a 1985 calendar going up, and I thought it might be fun to take a look at that, see what it is, and check out some of the little notes that I made on the calendar over the years, well, over the year, I guess, at the time. Good old 12 and 13 year old me. Well, let's take a little trip down calendar lane today on the Multimedia Chronicles. Now, going back, going back uh, six years prior to that, we have 1985. What could it be? I heard some of you guessed Transformers. No. Uh, alas, I never actually got a Transformers calendar, believe it or not. What we have here is Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. How cool is that? Here, I'm going to... I see where the glare is coming from. It's coming from the monitor. There we go. That's better. Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. Very cool. Because, of course, with movies, uh, movies would come out, say, in this case, in 1984. So they'd put out a calendar for the following year, and that would be kind of a promotion. So very often I would get calendars like that. So here we have, you know, Mr. Uh, Mr. Jones himself looking quite quite dapper. And, uh, and then we get the nice kind of you know, archaeology style old tablet look or, you know, just that, that, that classy 30s kind of look. Now, this is what I find interesting with going back to these old calendars. First off, another sexy picture of Harrison Ford. And then here you can see I, uh, I wrote down little notes just about my life at the time. So let's take a quick look here. We have, uh, oh my God, this is when I was... <laughs> this is when I was... Wow, uh, I guess this was actually during the first season of the Transformers on television. I was actually taping the Transformers off of TV during the original airings. in 19, It was the 1984-85 season. That was the first season of the Transformers. So I was keeping track of which episodes were on which days. So if you look here, I had my taping schedule worked out. So I guess it was on Sundays. So I missed episode 8, I got episode 10, 11, and did I get 12? Yes. And Mission X number 2 is complete. Mission X was a comic book series that I was doing, no relation to the video game with the same name. In fact, I didn't know there was a video game with that name, otherwise I would have titled it something else. But uh, yeah, Mission X was a comic book that I was doing, and uh, at this point I finished issue number 2. I actually did like 13 issues of it, so it's kind of uh, significant. My science fair movie. Uh, if you ever saw Texas Movie Shack, I talked a bit about the science fair project I did, which was about animation on film. And um, yeah, so my science fair movie is a big hit on Tuesday, February 12th. That was when I uh, presented it to my class. And then on the 13th was the science fair. I'm in the gym for the second time. So I guess the previous year I had my presentation in the gym. So they only put the best presentations in the gym. So. Yeah, if you want to find out the whole story behind that, go and watch, uh, I think it's the Town Monument Arrives episode of Texas Movie Shack. And then David's birthday on the 22nd, Grandma and Grandpa visit on the 23rd, my birthday was the 25th, I turned 13. David's birthday, this is my friend David Ball, who you'll also see in some old movies. Um, David's birthday was the 26th, Boyne's birthday was the 14th. And I started making my very first cell cartoon on the 28th. Very cool. I was actually dabbling in cell animation. So there's not as many notes throughout. There's just kind of random things here. It's another, uh, another nice picture of Indy there. And 
just a couple of notes here. We have, oh, March 10th, the very first appearance of the Constructicons on the Transformers, and I missed it. It actually wasn't until about probably 15 years later I got it on VHS. Yeah, I just kept missing that one every time it was on for some reason. I saw it. A friend of mine taped it, so I saw it at his place. But, uh, and then March 12th, I finished my first Cell cartoon. Very cool. So, what? I don't even know what that Cell cartoon was. I think it might have been Battle Cruiser number one, which was kind of my take on Voltron. It was basically a bunch of little battle cruisers joined together to form one big battle cruiser, and I set it to the music of Voltron. So. Here, apparently, uh, we're doing a countdown, and there's no school on that day. I always loved it when I would get a day off, of course. Oh, and I guess you want to see the picture, too, so there's there's Indy. That's going to be a very long look at the uh, two calendars, but whatever. Holy crap, we've got a whole bunch of stuff. You know, the countdown continues. Not sure what we're counting down to, but let's see. On the fourth, Black Dragon number two. That was an epic comic, really good, uh, written by Chris, Chris Claremont, artwork by John Bolton, very dark fantasy. Doctor Who, Full Circle, Part 3, missed it. Oh, I actually kept track of which, which episodes of Doctor Who I was taping at the time, funny enough, uh, since we were talking about Doctor Who in the previous video. Mission X number 4 was completed on May 5th. Wow, I was just cranking them out. <laughs> And somehow, in the midst of all that, I finished my history project on May 7th, uh, two days before it was due. It was due on May 9th. Damn, that's very unlike me. I would usually wait until the night before to finish my projects. Uh, Full Circle Part 3 also aired on the 9th, and I managed to record it that time. There was apparently a fun fair on Saturday. Um, and then Black Dragon number 3 on the 18th. Oh, what the hell? Okay, that was a monthly comic. Does that mean when I read them? Maybe that means when I read it. I don't know. Anyway, or maybe I bought them. I think I might have bought them like a little ways after they had come out, and I just kind of caught up on them after the fact. Anyway, Full Circle Part 4 was on uh, the 28th. My geography project was due on the 27th. No mention of finishing that project. Oh, well, geography was never my best subject. Um, Full Circle, by the way, is a Tom Baker story from his final season, season 18, I believe, um, and it was the first of three stories in the so-called E-Space trilogy. Uh, and then here, got another, another, that's a nice picture of Indy looking nice and scruffy. Scruffy looking? Who's scruffy looking? And then, uh, sorry, wrong movie. And then Countdown, ah, that's what it was for. Holiday, no school, summer holiday, no school for two months. There we go. That's what that was all about. So I actually had the countdown going. Oh, this is nice. This Here's the uh, the double page spread. See, this is basically what the Ninja Turtles one would have been, but they didn't put it as attached. It was just kind of an insert. So there you go, the rope bridge. That's actually a pretty cool idea for a double page spread there. Whoa, let me pull that whole thing back. And in case you're wondering, no, I still don't have the Indiana Jones trilogy on Blu-ray or the Indiana Jones collection. It was on sale Boxing Day for 40 bucks, uh, and I did consider getting it, but uh, I did not. There we go. And... Ah, here I actually started keeping track of how my comic book collection was doing. I got 256 there, and then towards the end of the month... We were up to 282. I wonder how many of those I actually still have. I'm sure I still have most of them, actually, because most of the stuff I collected back then I kept. And then uh, another picture here. This is one of the things I like about these old calendars, is seeing these little bits of my life at the time. You can really see what my focus was as a kid. Basically comic books and cartoons and Doctor Who. There you go. 287 comic books as of August 2nd, 291 as of the 8th. 295 as of the 20th, and apparently I went to Eaton Center that day. It's the X! CNE! Does that mean I went to the CNE, or the Canadian National Exhibition, basically? Um, yeah, I'm guessing I went that day. And then on the 22nd, I went to Wonderland, Canada's Wonderland. On the 23rd, 302 comic books. On the 30th, 308. Wow, I really didn't have a lot of spare money, did I? Comic books were like a dollar back then. Definitely a lot less than they are now. There we go, another nice picture of Indy. So yeah, there you go. Heterosexual teenage male 
with lots of pictures of good-looking men on his wall all day, all day, every day. And then let's see, on the third or sixth of of uh, September, well, you can see the tally of the comic books there. There we go. So we got 311 on the sixth, 316 on the ninth, 320 on the fourteenth, 328 on the twenty-first, and 335 by the twenty-eighth. Then we got, oh, here we go. Another picture. What are we up to now? October? Yeah, we're almost done. Oh my God, it only took forever. Uh, 346 comic books as of Saturday, October 5th. I joined the Science Fiction Fan Club on October 9th. And uh, it says Espionage. Espionage was a uh, sort of a spy game that they played in the Science Fiction Club, which I never really understood, but it was fun. Um, 361 comic books as of the, uh, 12th, and apparently on October 15th, I decided to start taping Inspector Gadget, so Inspector Gadget episode 1 was going to air that day, and I caught it, and then apparently missed all the other episodes. <laughs> Good job, me! Yeah, so 369 comic books as of the 19th, 370, holy crap, 372 as of the 20th. I apparently had a lot of extra money that month. 393, wow, I bought 21 comics that week. Wow, that's that's a lot for me because the only income I had was my allowance. So I must have been just washing the hell out of my parents' cars. Uh, 393 as of the 26th. Uh, I started Discoveries script on the 30th. Discoveries was going to be, it's kind of my loose, uh, loosely inspired by Robotech science fiction epic. I got as far as two episodes and never finished it. Saturday, November 1st, 401 comic books, baby. Oh yeah, oh yeah, and there's, there's Indy, yeah. Indy's no longer the focus of this calendar. It's all about my comic book collection now. 408 comics. And I managed to score 103,000 points on Dragon's Lair on November 9th. The Royal Winter Fair was on the 14th. I got up to 421 comic books on the 16th, 422 on the 23rd, and scored 150,000 points on Dragon's Lair. Apparently the goal was 300,000. If you got to 300,000, it would bump you into the Dragon's Lair and you could actually finish the game. So it says halfway there. And then on the 30th... 435 comic books. And then finally, last month of the year. My God, you thought we'd never get there. Uh, I taped The Five Doctors and The Spearhead from Space. It's actually just Spearhead from Space. Today, on Wednesday, December 4th. A double whammy Doctor Who day. Awesome. For, and then apparently I switched from Saturday as comic book day to Mondays for some reason. 436 comic books as of the 16th, holidays on the 20th, 441 comics on the 21st, 443 on the 23rd, 452 on the 25th and 26th, oh, because of course I got some for Christmas, and then finally 453 as of the 30th, and that brings us to the end of 2013, I mean 1985, very good. So, there you go, that is the two calendars that I'll be using this year and now you can see why I'm not going to do all the calendars in one video because a lot of them have piles and piles of notes like that um, yeah and I like that I like going back and seeing you know what what was important to 12 year old me or 13 year old me you know really not much different than now honestly <laughs> my how little things change anyway that is it for me to you for now so if you got any old calendars, bust them out and use them. Enjoy a little retro calendar action. Alrighty, that is it for me to you for now. So until next time, thank you for watching, and sayonara.